Welcome to Image Autopsy. I'm Garrett Polkas, host of this web series. The Last Breath team and I have over 12 years of trail camera data that has led to the harvesting of some amazing white-tailed bucks. In this series, we're gonna break down and dissect trail camera photos and videos and explain how we use that data to target and harvest these big deer. Each episode, we're going to showcase a particular buck that we have hunted and harvested. The goal of this series is to show you and better understand how we've used trail cameras to become more efficient hunters and more effective whitetail hunters. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel as we will be dropping a brand new episode each week. From summer scouting to the very last day of season, we break it all down. Thanks again for tuning in to Moultrie's Image Autopsy. On this episode of Moultrie's Image Autopsy, we take a look at a five and a half year old target buck that we'd hunted from age four and a half to five and a half. This buck was named Snickers. By using trail cameras to identify this deer was in the area, Logan was able to write the final chapter to the story of this buck during opening day of Illinois' firearm season. The farm we're looking at is about 300 acres, consists 70% of agriculture, 20% of timber, and 10% of grassy waterways and ditches. We typically run six to eight trail cameras to monitor this farm. In Illinois, if you break down the number of deer harvests using archery equipment versus firearms, the amount is staggering. Twice as many deer are killed in the seven days of firearm season than the three and a half months of archery season. Taking this into account, firearm season is arguably one of the best times of the year to go after a ghost buck or a buck that you don't have a ton of pattern ability with. Snickers was one of those such deer. We put him on the hit list November of 2020, and after several camera sequences of him as a four-year-old during the rut, and then as a five-year-old, he became one of the dominant bucks on this farm, but showed up with consistent inconsistency. With trail camera data from several mock scrapes, travel corridors, food sources, he was all over the place. And we really didn't have a concise way to identify where he was gonna go or where he was gonna be. Because of this, I repositioned a mobile blind for Logan several weeks before gun season in the dead center of the farm where we had several fingers meet up. Odds are, if he were gonna be pushed or if he was gonna be bumped into the center of our farm, it would be through one of these fingers. Lo and behold, our plan worked out and Logan was able to kill her biggest buck to date. The lesson to be learned here is that trail cameras can be very reassuring that a target buck is still alive, even when he's not showing up very consistently. If you're religious about running your cameras in a system, they can ensure that you are in the right spot at the right time, or at least give you a shot to kill that ghost buck. Happy season opener, everyone. Um, first day, like I said, of shotgun season here in Illinois. Um, I got out here at a good time. I am by myself today. Um, it's a really still morning so far. I have not seen anything yet, so um, that's okay. I'm still debating on if I want to sit all day. I have plenty of snacks, which Garrett provided. He's been um, Betty Crocker this week and making chocolate chip cookies and banana bread. Um, so, so I probably will sit all day. This is the very first day. I haven't done that a ton yet, so might as well. Um, be out here all day. I had to bring all my stuff in and I don't really want to take it all back. So we'll see how it goes. Might be kind of boring. Um, that's okay if it ends with a deer, a buck at that. So um, wish me luck and here we go. Oh my gosh, I hope I got him. <laughs> oh my god, you're so oh okay. That's so oh man. Uh go ahead. So I'll send you the um, video on Snapchat. You did video it? Yeah. Oh my god. You 
was just standing there eating. I just looked up and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, Holy, that's, I'm so happy for you. And Snickers. It's Snickers? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Babe, I feel like this is Snickers and I feel really bad. But I, and I wish you were here with me. That's Snickers. Okay, oh my so god. Down, kind of quarters away. That's Snickers. It's Snickers. Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh my god. Look how big he is. Okay, here. Oh, oh, she smoked crushed him. him. Yeah, <gasps> smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. Oh my god. What the f Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Hello? Hello? Babe, that is 1,000% you smoked Snickers. Him. And you... Oh, shit, I'm sorry. sorry for what? Dude, that you smoked him, is Logan. A, that buck is a mega buck. He's so heavy. Oh my god. That's awesome. Dude, babe, that's a five and a half year old hammer. Yeah. I, I feel bad. Feel bad for what? Don't feel bad for anything. And you crushed him. God, you knew him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So, we're going to come get you if you can okay. wait. I know it's going to be hard. 30 minutes. We'll be there in 30. Oh, are you kidding me? We'll be There's there in no 30 way minutes. I won't be there. We'll be there in 30 minutes. Can you, hey, can you do this? Can you. What what if you just back out and walk back to the car and we'll meet you at home? We can all drive together. Okay. Is that okay? Or do you want to... You can go look for him. I don't want to take that away from you. No, I can wait. I'll wait. Okay. I'll okay. Well, we're going to hunt. We're going to sit here until like 9.15ish. We have four deer in the field right now. But babe, you just shot one of the most impressive deer we've ever had. <laughs> I was like... Don't you dare feel bad. You you own this like a champion. You got up early, you self-filmed, you made a fantastic shot. Oh God, that deer is... Oh yeah. Did you see all the smoke come out the of his smoke lungs? smoke right behind his shoulder. That's nothing but hot air leaving that deer's lungs. I, oh man. Oh, dude, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Oh, Father, tell me, do we get what we deserve? Oh, we get what we deserve. And we're down. Do you see him? Huh? Do you see him? Yeah. You do? Oh! <laughs> You're in the other way. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's <laughs> freaking huge! <laughs> yeah. I'm as calm as we are! Good shot! <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Do you so he is so <laughs> Look how heavy he is. He's stiff as a board. He is dead on the ground. Oh, oh, I can't Here, believe I did this. <laughs> God, that's cool. It is Illinois opener today, and I decided to um, go hunting on my own this morning and just self-film. Um, I was planning on sitting all day. Garrett provided me with all the snacks in the world, including homemade cookies. And um, I was just kind of hanging out, honestly, just like scrolling through my phone because it's been a pretty rough season. So it's like, I felt like I probably wasn't going to see much. I saw a couple does early on, um, several hundred yards away. So uh, I hadn't really seen much and I look up and this guy is in the field like a hundred yards and just eating, just hanging out. I thought for sure if I was going to get a shot at something, it was going to be like 200 yards, like running across the field. So the fact that he was like perfectly placed, like right in front of the blind, I was able to hit record and get the camera all ready to go. I had to move my gun to a different window. Um, 
and then I knew he was probably under 100 or under, so I didn't range him or anything, just of where he was at. Um, and I shot, and I was having troubles with, um, I racked out my empty and then trying to put a new uh, slug in, I was having troubles, so I didn't get a chance to see him run out of the field, so he ran back where he came from. It looks like I thought he went the other way. So uh, I got to call everyone and share the good news and uh, went home and picked up these guys, Garrett and Grant, and they came and helped me retrieve them. I knew when we were walking up here, because I looked back and they're smiling. And I, was, I hadn't seen him yet. So he is just a tank. He's been on their hit list for a couple of years now. Um, you know, I would not have had this opportunity without them. Um, I do not claim this on my own. This is definitely a team effort. Um, I was just the, the trigger man, so I'm super excited. I can't wait to spend the rest of this night celebrating. Way down we go.